All right, here's my motorized bicycle, a simple friction drive. What I have here is the uh, bottom of a Razor scooter. Bicycle peg. It's screwed onto that shaft, and then I have a screw down the center where the uh, centrifugal clutch went. And some washers and a nut holding the uh, holding it all, like when you screw down the screw, it pushes down on all that stuff instead of screwing down on the top of the pipe that's in there. It screws down on top of those nuts and those bolts, which that one last bolt's just a washer. I'm using it as a washer. And it pushes down on those onto this thing inside instead of pushing down on the top of the thing, so I got it real tight in there. And then this thing just screwed on. It hasn't come off at all. I've been riding the bejesus out of it. Got gas. The bicycle. This is a uh, just a cord off a bicycle. One of these. Okay, so we got the uh, gas cables coming together. That's the one coming from the bicycle part, and this is the one coming from the engine. And they're screwed together with one of those things with the hole in it. <laughs> one of those screws with a hole in it where you can put two wires and then screw down on it tight. I got wood screws holding the, the ends where they're at. Spring comes back to a wood screw. This thing here was a uh, bracket holding on another like ball bearing that's holding this down, but the bracket kept breaking, so I I still want to put one on that end. Here's the Razor scooter neck. There's the part that let you raise up and down the neck. That's what I use to raise up and down, raise it up and down off the tire. You just release that thing and then you pick it up off the tire. And then you can ride it as a regular bicycle. I really wanted to make an... Um, next one I'm going to make an arm, man, where I can just push down on the arm and raise it up and down off the tire, maybe with a spring, and see how that works out. Because then I could just lift it up from setting up there. I would just be able to lift it up, and then that would help me when you go riding, you could take off ride and then drop it on the tire after your movement and not have to pedal so hard to start it. We got the off switch running up to the front brake and this screw touches this wire when you pull it shut that turns off the engine when you start to pull on the brake. And I have a screw back here holding this wire and a paper clip. I just drilled some little holes and used some computer screws to make those screw connections. Uh, 